One is Australia's most infamous crime figure, bushranger, cop killer, bank robber, the iron outlaw Ned Kelly. The other is Australia's most reviled serial killer, a deranged murderer who killed his wives by slashing their throats and burying them at home under concrete, once thought to be Jack the Ripper, is Frederick Deeming. Both Kelly and Deeming were hanged in Melbourne in the late 1800s. Their bones wound up, mixed up, in a mass grave site at Pentridge Prison. Now, forensic scientists are close to cracking one of the biggest mysteries in Australian criminal history. Whose bones are Ned's and whose belong to Fred? Ned was buried here at the Old Melbourne Jail in 1880 after his execution. So when the jail closed down in the 1920s, the remains were essentially exhumed from here at the, at the Melbourne Jail and then reinterred over in Pentridge in mass burial boxes as far as we're aware. So they were just moved. I don't know whether they were moved very carefully, keeping in mind that these were bodies of executed criminals. Um, they wouldn't have been reinterred properly or individually. So it would have been an absolute nightmare, I'm sure, for the forensic people to determine exactly where Ned was. Experts at the Victorian Institute of Forensic Medicine are working to obtain DNA samples that could help them identify the bones of dozens of prisoners from the Pentridge grave. Their research will also help them confirm whether a human skull handed to officials two years ago is Kelly's or Deeming's. They've analysed these death masks as part of their probe, but they need more certainty. DNA is crucial to the investigation because both men had similar facial features, they were roughly the same age and they were buried alongside one another in an unmarked grave. Prominent Kelly Gang exhibition curator Matt Shaw says the findings of the investigation will be significant. The Kelly story, I suppose, is, is the most well-known story of crime in Australia. So anything like this, any sort of offshoots to the story cause a, a great amount of interest both here and overseas and to finally solve this will be fantastic. Carly Crawford for heraldsun.com.au